Hi, I'm Simon Ostrovsky, uh, reporting for Euronews in Kyiv, Ukraine, where presidential elections are scheduled for two days from now, on Sunday. And behind me is a group of supporters of the incumbent, President Petro Poroshenko, who until just a couple of months ago was expected to be re-elected president of this country. Uh, the second largest country in Europe, population of 45 million people. Uh, but now he's in a distant, distant second place to Volodymyr Zelensky, a comedian and an actor who played the president of Ukraine in a popular TV show. These supporters are marching to an Olympic stadium where Volodymyr Zelensky has challenged President Petro Poroshenko to the first and only debate. Uh, in the election cycle, uh, up until now, Zelensky has been very coy and hasn't wanted to give very many press interviews or confront President Poroshenko uh, head on. But in challenging Poroshenko to a debate, he set some uh, conditions, some unexpected conditions. Uh, for example, he asked him to do a drug test, which the president agreed to do. And he asked for the venue to be this Olympic stadium, which is very unusual uh, for a presidential debate, which usually takes place in a studio on a public television network, according to Ukrainian law. Poroshenko agreed to these demands uh, and ever since then the two have been talking about when and and how that debate was going to take place and finally it seems like it will take place later today at the Olympic Stadium where this group of supporters of Poroshenko is marching to. Zelensky's supporters uh, have been encouraged also to come to the uh, Olympic Stadium, which sounds a little bit like a situation you would expect in a football match where the uh, supporters of opposing teams uh, face off. So it looks like the march has uh, taken a little bit of a pause. Let's see what they're up to. The sign the banner that the uh, that the activists are holding there says it says defend Ukraine and that really echoes the campaign that Poroshenko has been leading uh, in this entire campaign season his position is that Zelensky an actor and a comedian is too inexperienced to lead the country in a time of war uh, with Russia in fact, Poroshenko has gone so far as to put uh, election posters around the city where he's facing off, not with Zelensky, but with Vladimir Putin himself. He's trying to paint Zelensky as a surrogate of Russia, uh, which is unfair to Zelensky, who hasn't expressed any pro-Russia views at all. Um, but the point about his lack of experience the point about his lack of experience is a fair one. Okay, it looks like the march is, is moving ahead. I've met uh, Volodymyr Zelensky. I went to the set of his TV show, Servant of the People. Uh, the interesting thing about the TV show is that it's also the name of his political party. He's named a political party servant of the people too. It doesn't have a single seat in the Ukrainian parliament, which is something they're hoping to change if he wins the presidential election uh, next September during parliamentary elections. It's kind of like if Martin Sheen ran for president in the United States and founded a political party from scratch that was called the West Wing. Or say, Kevin Spacey ran for president and founded a political party called um, House of Cards. 
that's what's happening in Ukraine like, right now, which is why this is so unusual and why I think it's garnering as much international attention this election cycle as it has. But the last time there was a presidential election in Ukraine, the one that brought Poroshenko to power, he came to power on a, ra on a wave of uh, 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 patriotic and nationalist feelings that were a result of Russia's invasion of Crimea and Russians, Russia's invasion of eastern Ukraine. And so that's essentially the um, that's essentially the kind of presidency he has led, uh, one that is sort of in uh, stark opposition and and uh, confrontation with Russia. I think a lot of Ukrainians are understandably tired of the war, but one of the things that they're tired of, I think, uh, in terms of the Poroshenko presidency, is the fact that. Um, you know, you, there are a lot of problems in Ukraine that don't come from uh, from Russia, and Poroshenko has often used the war and the Russian threat, which is very real, uh, as an excuse for uh, not being able to solve other problems uh, like corruption um, that don't necessarily come from Russia at all. And I think perhaps that's the reason why we're seeing these astounding numbers uh, from, from pollsters saying that uh, Zelensky, the comedian, has 71 percent, some polls even saying up to 80 percent, and the polls in the first round of the election were very accurate um, for the election on Sunday. So we're already coming up to the stadium over here, it's behind me. Let me just flip this around. This is going to be the venue for tonight's presidential debate. This is uh, some place where usually they have soccer matches and uh, concerts, uh, rock concerts, and it just goes to, again, goes to um, underscore the fact that Zelensky is a showman at heart and not a, pol and not a politician. This is kind of has the has the sense of a gladiator match more than anything. That's it for now. We'll have more updates for you once the debates begin. Follow this space.